Hey there, everybody. My name is Gitan. Welcome back for another video of Lost Judgment. We're going to continue this series, boys. We're back in here. We're back at basically the um, the hospital or whatever help. this is. More tea like the center for help and stuff like that. So let's you find out really right. quick what this doctor uh, can tell us about the, the mom, about the, uh, Mikiko. If you ask me. I don't know. Wouldn't rule it out. It'd explain the lack of contact, at least. Right? Dude, what if he lured us in to get rid of us? For all we know, he could be a total psycho. Believe me, I can handle psy uh, psychos. It's not a problem for me at all, man. And we're going to be able to do, uh, to handle him. So, it looks like we're going focus mode, trying to find some clues about Mikiko. So he lured us inside. Let's find out what's uh, Boy, what we could find right here. So he's obviously actually works out. Yeah, I guess God, I guess sure it does work out. Uh, maybe he wanted to get fit for the ladies, but bailed when it got too tough. <laughs> My friend in school pulled the exact same shit. <laughs> guess it happens to the best of us. I'm pretty sure that's not his. A dining table that could sit at least three, but bit of a bachelor who really entertains. Really. Uh, Shirakaba's shirt. Looks more like a little lady's to me, exactly. That's what I said. Looks more like a lady's shirt to me, mo uh, buddy. So, it looks like she's been here not too long ago, actually. Hmm. Pretty easy. Let's it? go ahead and take the picture what really quick. That could be her right here. <gasps> Look at this. your mom, eh? When do you think it was taken? I don't know. But my mom used to wear her hair short. I guess it could have grown out since then. Who took it, though? And why is it here? Wait a sec. If this was taken after my mom disappeared... Then yeah. She's still alive. But this shot alone doesn't say much else. Well, what it does say is that there's a shot of her, so she's definitely alive. And plus, uh, the guy that took the picture is the guy that's with us right now. Because there's nobody else. There's no way he could have gotten that uh, uh, hand on that picture uh, if he didn't uh, take it himself. So, I think... Why can't we just look into these... Um, Let's see apartments or whatever into the, the, the rooms and all that's kind of strange well there's, so, there's other stuff it's that we gotta it. look at examine him I guess How hot do I make the tea 85 Celsius no no that, that's for coffee guessing you don't entertain very often oh sorry uh, no not really oh and don't even think about poisoning us I, I would never do such a thing oh, my goodness yeah you never know you never know what right you might here. try to do. Oh, there's a bag right here. Yeah, she's definitely been here. There's all sorts of stuff laying around right here. Yeah, there's all sorts of uh, lady stuff in here. The suppers, there's a goddamn jacket and everything. She's been here not too long ago. She's probably out right now. Or she uh, basically is in one of those rooms. Let's see. I really don't know what I'm supposed to go uh, look at uh, right now, though. I don't know, boys. I gotta look further. There's, is there anything? Oh, you know what? I gotta look at my other senses. That's right. I forgot I've got three senses. I never use those. There we go. So someone has been... Uh, there's some fruit right, right there. There's this. Just a plant. Is this it? Which is this guy. That's you got smart. food on you, my guy? Yo, you got food on you? Yeah, got some for you too. Sweet. Don't mind if I do. All right, you got some food for me, boys. Okay, this smell. What about that? Smell this before something about it really takes me back. So, uh, I do know this the smell. It looks like I've. Uh, it looks like it, it smells pretty much similar to Mikiko, maybe. Yes, what about this it. one? Does it smell like it? The perfume and everything. So same thing. Okay. And uh, there's no smell <laughs> for, uh, about him. Anything that I can hear at all. A stuffed animal. I can see uh, how a loner uh, like Sugar might want one. But if I recall, Mikiko used to love uh, cutesy stuff like this. Yeah. 
Should beg to win them at arcades all the time. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. Interesting. So we do have stuffed animal. I gotta look at the ground then. There's more stuff at the ground, it looks like. Right here. Alright, there's a bunch of stuff it's in the picture it? itself, boys, that I gotta actually look at. There was really nothing else in the room, so this right let's here. just look at the, the bunch of this stuff that right I look uh, I can look at. There's the bag right here. Same bag. So she's holding the same bag right here, so it's definitely that woman. Whatever. Uh we there's a, the girl right here. You know anything, June? Hmm. Can't say for sure, but I doubt it was all that long ago. Huh. Yeah, it definitely wasn't that long ago. And it's there's right also here. a feeder right here. So the same feeder, boys. It's not uh it's not a coincidence right here. Definitely not. Is there anything at all else that I can look at right here? Uh I don't I don't think so though. But aside from the picture, there's nothing else I could see. Uh, we gotta keep looking maybe into that picture. Let's go ahead and see if there's anything in here. What have we here? Okay, there it is. There's a date right here, so let's keep looking. Can't see the date on this. Let me try to taking the photo out. There's probably behind something behind that photo. Okay, what's the date? 2022. Hold on. This photo was just taken just recently. Exactly. Hey, Kaito, isn't this Nikiko alive and well? Shit just keeps getting stranger. Why would Shirakaba lie about her death? And why would he take why a picture of her? Out to her That's family? very strange, boys. Yeah. Is, is, is he living with her? I guess. He's his new husband. Alright, so we do have the photo at the theater, and we got everything we needed from that, I guess. Alright, that took a while for me to figure out what to look at. I mean, it didn't. It didn't have any other option so than to follow at this point. So I went for it, I guess. I got that right. Yes, she's alive. No health issues to speak of either. Awesome! You hear that, Kaito? <laughs> well, we did find out what happened to her. Tell me then, what's Mikiko been up to for two years? Why hasn't she hit up her family? And where is she right now? If you're assuming she kept her family in the dark, I, I can assure you that's not the case. What do you mean? She developed dissociative amnesia. Oh. In layman's terms, uh, severe memory loss. She, Damn, that's what? rough. It was. She won't rem even remember her kid. At the river bank. I rushed back here to give her treatment, but when she came to, she couldn't remember anything. All she could tell me was her name. Damn. If it was amnesia, no wonder we never heard from her. Okay. Can you tell us where she is now? Ah, uh, well, uh, I don't quite know where she is. She left some time ago. But she has amnesia what? and you get She's you gone. let her go? You've got some beads. You to skill, are you know. nuts? And I ain't talking at a mommy. She could literally fall into another river, for all we know. She doesn't even know what she's doing at this point. What the fuck is wrong with this doctor, man? She just lets her go when he clearly knows she has amnesia. She has problems with memories. She doesn't know where or where she's going to go, what to do. Uh, she doesn't even know anybody. Uh, what did you fake? Uh, why did you fake her death? Did she really have amnesia? Well, why did you fake her death? If Mikiko's really alive, then let's get this out in the open. You faked Mikiko's death. That I did. It, it was to protect her. That's bullshit. Protect her? Protect her from what What's exactly? Happened? It was right after I rescued Mikiko-san from that riverbank. Some unfamiliar people showed up in our area. Real unsavory types. And they had a picture of Mikiko-san. You mean the Yakuza went, went after her? Locals, uh, have you seen this woman? I was no exception. But then Mikiko-san, who had seen them from a distance, started trembling. What'd they look like? They were young, in their late twenties to mid-thirties. They had numerous piercings, uh, dye jobs, and flashy clothes. Intimidating would best describe them. As in, that doesn't tell me much. Honesty, they looked like a street gang. People you wouldn't want at your doorstep. Damn it. 
I bet they tried to kill my mom two years ago. I had similar thoughts. Perhaps Mikiko-san ran afoul of some very bad people in her past. And to make it appear as suicide, she was pushed from the top of a waterfall. But afterward, they couldn't find her body, and her death was never reported. Okay, so they That's tried to kill her. Came didn't around. work. She, she ended up with amnesia, and here we go. The job. Now we're here, I guess. So, that's when you went ahead and faked her death? Yes. But only to throw those people off her trail. God. So, rather than holding her against her will, you were trying to keep her safe. Something doesn't sit right, though. Why didn't you call the cops straight away? Another thing. Mikiko-san was very hesitant about me getting the law involved. Actually, to be more precise, it wasn't the police that scared her, but rather the outside world. It was as if she were terrified of someone out there discovering she was alive. How? I thought she lost her memories. Yeah, I thought she well, lost her memories, my dude. Background on that. When a person develops amnesia, they don't lose their memories. Rather, they lose touch with them. This can happen for several reasons, but... For dissociative amnesia, it's usually triggered by extreme stress or past wounds. In any case, an amnesiac may avoid a perceived danger without quite understanding why. So you're telling me but she could possibly get slate. her memories Those back, memories I guess. Will still be alive in their head. One thing that doesn't work, boys, is clearly lying about something. We have the photo. We know she's been here recently, like a couple of days ago. So she he hasn't let her go. Her stuff is still in here as well. So uh, even if we just you just wanted to be helpful, that's so abs uh, uh, some absurd dedication, exactly. So so uh, so Mikiko is gone now. Yeah, I don't believe that. I don't think she's gone. She's still very much here. And he's just lying about it. That's the one part. He just wants us out of here as well. He's trying his best to get us uh, get rid of us. That's not gonna work. Uh, did she really have amnesia? How did you fake her death? You know what? She's gone now, I guess, right? Don't be lying to me, me, bitch. I know when someone's lying. About ten days ago, I had finished work for the day, so I came back to find Mikiko-san rushing out of the door. It was all very odd. Uh, the TV was left on. She uh, didn't seem to have anything on her. And the look on her face was startling. What I think happened is her memory suddenly returned. Oh, okay. Like Return, I guess. Yes. Though I couldn't tell you what prompted it. She never gave me a reason as to why she went away. All she said was, uh, I have unfinished business to deal with. That uh, that sounds business. ominous. What could that be? That uh, we don't I'm even know saying, where she could uh, be doing right now. I know is that the Mikiko-san I saw right then was completely different from the one I knew. Her face was always so kind and gentle before. Yet there she was, glaring like a woman possessed, and her eyes were filled with hatred. Hatred? You sure that's what you saw? That that's doesn't sound like Mikiko to me. Some or maybe it does. Deadly, she has been her. pretty pissed off in the ba that in the past. She had. It was enough to burn a man alive. Perhaps whatever she went through threatened to destabilize her mind. So she shut herself off from that event for an entire two years. All to preserve herself until she recuperated. That being said... I believe the group who came looking for her in the beginning must have been involved. Yeah, I think uh, she went after them, but we gotta figure out which group is that. Like, who went after her in the first place? Who tried to kill her? We gotta find out, boys. Otherwise, we're never gonna be able to find her. Memories back. How come she still hasn't contacted us? Got a point there. My only guess is she's trying to keep a low profile. Perhaps. What if Mikiko-san intended to commit some sort of crime? What gives you that idea? Well, if that is the case, 
I figure it'd be more convenient for her to be considered dead than alive. If that is true, I guess. Record as deceased, she could do whatever she wanted without ever troubling Junkun or her husband. And since the crime wouldn't be linked to her, her family wouldn't have to live with any stigma. A hatred that could burn a man alive. I mean, I'm pretty sure that's not really true though, because they still... I'm pretty sure, I mean, Japan must have the same thing as the United States. Uh, do, they, do they not have the MIA, boys? I guess they don't have the MIA or whatever. They don't have the, um, all right, the, the CIA, the MIA, and kind of all that stuff, I guess. It's kind of strange, right? They wouldn't have that because the MIA or whatever would be able, or the MC, I'm not sure how they call it, but... Uh, they would be able to uh, figure out pretty easily that someone dead is actually alive. They would be able to do that and handle it in the quiet way. So I don't know. Maybe the maybe Japan doesn't have that sort of that's those resources. I don't know, boys. Uh, how did you fake her death? Did she really have amnesia? Man, we're asking all sorts of stupid questions. We know. Like, we don't need to know about that. We already... That was enough right there. We we just need to go after her right now. We know she's gone. So, uh, back to Mikiko. She really forgot everything but her name? As far as I'd observed, yes. She couldn't recall her address, her date of birth, loved ones, nothing. I discovered Mikiko-san with nothing but the clothes on her back. She had no personal effects that could point to her identity. In all likelihood, the Rapids had washed most of her belongings away. Wait, but I thought she had that photo. Uh, yes, I'm getting to that. A half a year or so after I had taken her in, I found a woman's jacket downstream of the waterfall. This photo was in one of the jacket's pockets. Ah, oh, yeah. This is when we took a trip to Kamrocho. That's what the Millennium Tower is. So why'd you go asking about Kamaro Theater instead? If Mikiko had amnesia, you wouldn't have known the connection. So how'd you find out? There was a special on TV about the development history of Kamaro Cho. Part of the program featured the former Kamaro Theater, to which Mikiko responded immediately. So she had a response oh. to that particular her place. With she tears. recognized it, I guess. But they were happy, as if she were lost in memory. <laughs> Although her memories didn't return in that moment, I knew that place must have been important to her. Yeah, it must have been, I guess, really important. God damn. That picture over there was from when I took her to see Kamro Theater in person. Roughly two years had passed since I'd found her, but her memories were still buried away. Fortunately, she'd gotten well enough to venture outside every now and again. I personally found it risky, but alas, Mikiko-san was determined to see Kamuro Theater for herself, come hell or high water. Shirakabasa, how was she when you took her? Did she maybe act different? I'd say so. And mind you, the venue had undergone drastic changes since she last saw it. Nevertheless, she still seemed quite nostalgic. I think deep down in her heart, she knew what she was seeing. The peace on her face told me that. Something That's that so. I kind of uh, think happened, boys, is... Uh, as we're going to talk about the, her fake death. Some doctor out in the, sticks. the thing is, I you think sure she remembered, mem she had memories uh, ba coming back, but I think well, she I remembered me, or I guess Kaido in this situation. So she remembered well Kaido first before her actual son. children. So maybe we she doesn't know about her children, after all. Uh, about More her child and her You're current husband. Exactly maybe she just knows forces. about Kaido. Which be, would be interesting. Maybe she just has the memories of our really distant past. That would be something. Yes, I had to put quite a bit of work in to make the substitute appear authentic. I chose a body with a similar build to Mikiko-san as well. 
The photograph served as a convincing personal touch. And you did all the DNA testing too? That I did. It was a matter of swapping out specimens here and there. You really pulled out all the stops, huh? That's a lot of risk you're taking there. Maybe what I did was unacceptable. But I assure you, this was all for Mikiko-san's safety. I don't believe that. Look, you may believe that you did the right thing, but I don't think you did. First off, you let her go. So which you shouldn't have. Straight. You were right half, there, my guy. A photo of mom and me washed up. Only then did you go around asking about her identity, right? Uh, uh, well, yes, uh, that's right. After that, you swapped or rearranged a corpse or whatever. I get why. You just wanted to keep mom out of trouble. But why didn't you at least reach out to us? You could have gotten contact at any time. Oh, you could have tried uh, to get in see, contact. I, uh, yeah, no, no, that's that's really strange. Really strange. You didn't try and contact us and everything. Was, did you? Even though you knew for quite some time. Yeah, exactly. You didn't. You didn't try and help her. Hey, you're still lying to us, my guy. Tell us. This guy's got to stop lying to us. Forgive me. I know making excuses won't help, but you see, from the moment Mikiko-san came into my life. Don't tell me. You're in yeah, of course he's her. in love with her. It's. What? I mean, it was it uh, was so easy to uh, see. Yes. Not a surprise at all. Ah, oh, jeez. How did I explain anything though? When I met her, it was love at first sight. Soon enough, I was utterly smitten. Nothing could take my mind off her. It wasn't long before I began wishing her happy little life could continue forever. But that's when that picture of her washed up. I thought if Mikiko-san remembered who she was, well, she'd walk right out of my life without a moment's hesitation. She probably would, but that's not in your choice. It's not for you to choose that, my guy. The short, blissful time we shared was a blessing I didn't deserve. A man who knew nothing but loneliness was graced by an angel from above. One radiant and pure as snow. You done? Very <laughs> weird, my guy. Forgive me. Forgive me for being a hopeless fool. But I uh, promise more, you, you're more than hopeless. Decent, I didn't touch a hair on her head. Even a selfish man like me knows where to draw the line. I would never take advantage of her. Not sure I'd buy that. Why are you yelling then? Oh, hiding her away for two years decent? <laughs> Please trust me. It was only to keep her out of harm's way. Uh, I get that, Shirakaba-san. I don't blame you for wanting to protect someone. Especially when trouble comes knocking. Fact is, you risked your neck to keep Mikiko safe. Not many would. That aside. You didn't tell her who she was when you had the chance. Yeah, you had the chance to help her That's out. You didn't help her. Mistake. If you no truly, if he truly loved her, boys, he would have helped you her took out. Other options away. He didn't. That's not true love, right there. He just tried to be selfish girl. about it. That's not a way to go I about know it. That whatever I do, it'll never be enough to atone. That much is clear. That all you gotta say. Then I suggest you apologize to Mikiko at the very least. Of course, she might knock your ass out when you do. She might. She's that type of girl. Hey, what the hell? What the fuck is going on outside? Greetings. Is uh, Mikiko Sadamoto-san around? Who the hell's that? She ain't. And who are you? Yo, there's a lot of people in here. Ever heard a Crimson Lotus? We're a friendly group from Shinjuku just swinging by for a visit. Friendly hey, group. I'm Michio, the group mouthpiece, if you will. Yeah, Crimson right. Lotus ain't ringing any bells. You're supposed to be some kind of gang? Actually, 
I believe they're the group who came asking about Mikiko-san two years ago. The same group? Really? Yeah. Weren't you looking for Mikiko Sadamoto too? Over in Kamurocho? Funny I was. Is, we need to find her too. And fast. Pardon, but uh, didn't I tell you last time? Mikiko Sadamoto san unfortunately passed away. I just finished telling these people the same. There's nobody left to look for. Nice try, nerd. But you ain't playing us today. Your bluff might have worked last time, but now I've got people telling me she's alive and kicking. Oh yeah, and, and who's telling you that exactly? Killer run free, can we? A killer? Yeah, fucking broad had the nerve to bump off some of our higher ups. <laughs> Quit talking out your ass, dude! I shit you not. You really never heard of the young elite serial killings in Kamrocho? What? The victims are our founding members. Legendary badasses, all of them. And there's evidence of that chick at the murder scene, so... Yeah. We're trying to pull the plug on this bloodbath. What? You're telling me you're the right, the, the right people? Tell <laughs> you're telling this me she's the evil I'm person here? Business? She's the serial the killer? Crimson Lotus. Right. Anyway, we're gonna need to peek inside the house now. Thanks for being chill about it. I'm sorry, but you I won't be able to do that. You, you might be right about me. her, but it still doesn't Make excuse the fact that you're not allowed here. <laughs> I call bullshit. What are you gonna do to Mikiko if you find her? Ooh, those plans are a bit above my pay grade, but I do know it won't be pretty. If I had to guess, it'd be like torturous death I mean she freaking went and killed our OGs right when they were peeking that's fucked up so yeah she's got a ticket for a nice long trip to hell it's only fair you know oh yeah what you say to that my guy sending my foot on a nice long trip up your ass damn <sighs> good one dude You have to go for the face. I freaking went to a salon today, too. We got a mixer tomorrow, you know? Shirakaba, son. This guy is something else, boys. Okay. I swear. All right, Damn you all want to fight me, really? So stubborn. Who even are you? Just an old bodyguard of hers. <laughs> huh? So, which of you? Pumps wants it first. I mean, I don't know why I said I was a whole bodyguard of hers. I could have just said I'm a detective. That would have just done the job right there. I don't know why we're heading the fact we're a detective. We but let's kick their ass, boys. There we go. Whoa, now. Let's go. Just like that. All right. Take his ass. Boom. Just like that. All right. There we go, boys. There we go. Just like that. You keep it kicking your ass, boys. Alright, there we go. Now, time to equip my thing. There we go. Just like that. Alright, that's what I'm talking about, boys. Come on, EX action. Oh, the EX action wasn't working right there. I don't know why, boys. Let's uh let's just go ahead and do our thing. There we go. Drop kick. All of them. There we go. This guy's dead. And let's just do our thing right here. Alright, just like that, boys. Uh, EX, uh, EX boost again. Okay. And we're just gonna go ahead and grab his ass. Just like that. Okay, there we go. And uh, continue to do our thing, really. Just grab, this, uh, grab all of them. Alright, there we go. And electric chair to you. Get him. Problem is, I don't have a lot of EX action going on. So I can't really do anything. Let me just continue to do the boots real quick. Let's go. Boom. All right. That's just like it. All right. There we go. Just like that. We got him. Yeah, I don't have a lot of the EX action. So I can't really do much, boys. Aside from these attacks, per se. There we go. Oh, okay. I, I can't switch fighting sense. Okay. So it's not a thing I can do. Unless it's the other one. 
No, that's just guarding. Okay, EX action on your ass. Just like that. Alright, get him really quick. There we go. Uh, let me just grab that. EX action. Alright, there we go. Just like that, boys. Just like that, boys. Whoa, no you don't. That was dangerous right here. Okay, get him. And quick punch the nose. And now we're just gonna run at him. There we go. Whoa! Got you with the spear at the end right there. There it is, boys. We finished him. Yeah, I don't have... The combat is very strange with Kaido. The thing is, it's fun. But the problem is, is that I don't have the AX action a lot. I don't have all of those stuff. Holy shit! What the hell, man? You know Kung Fu? Karate? Or karate, They're I guess. Bad by the looks of it. Yeah, thanks. I've been practicing a while. Who the hell are you now? You assholes got started without me? I thought I told you to wait till I got here. Shuchan! This guy's a pain in the ass! So let me take over for you. Better clear me a path, boys! Yo! It's on! <laughs> This guy. Let me guess. His uh, his style is drunk style, drunken style. All right, let's find out pretty quick. Dude, and you must be Kaito's son, huh? I'm the front man for Crimson Lotus. Ken Mochi is the name. All right, Shusuke Ken Mochi. How do we know his first his first name? What the hell? Just so you know. I've never been defeated in the underground fighting circuit. You're looking at a real fucking champ. This is Bob not an underground circus right here, me. buddy. Maybe we It's real life. Tickets, yeah? Huh? Let's give him a good show, huh? What are you looking at? What the fuck are you doing? You're really gonna tear that whole shit up. Really? Really, my dude. Now you're just showing off. Sure. You keep an eye on you. All right. We're gonna save that fight for the next part, boys. Remember to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Keep it easy.